Hey y'all, Coach in the Fight here on another cloudy day video. As you know, here at the Hillbilly Homestead, where we shoot our Hermes Academy videos, we're on solar power. So when we have long periods of rain and clouds and no sunshine, it makes it difficult for us to put up classes. But I think we have a solution to that is we'll just start shooting them from this little cell phone. We don't have to use the big computer or worry about editing and all of that kind of stuff. We can just shoot the video and send it up. We try to put out a video every day on our channel these days except the Sabbath day. And so in order to keep that going, we'll just try it like this and see, you know, if anybody gives comments or anybody hits the like button or we get any new subscribers out of it. or If you like it, in other words. If you don't. We'll find something else to do. This is Herbis Academy. We're working hard to get the truth out. And in this video, we want to answer a question from one of our videos talking about the 144,000. I can't really show you the question like I would do if I was using the computer. But we'll just work with what we got. His question was about the 144,000 being deceived. And whether it is possible for the 144,000 to be deceived. Well, first of all, I'd like to talk about what and who the 144,000 are. Um, there is a little bit of um, misunderstanding about who these guys are. And it's adding to some of the confusion that the world is going through. Um, First of all, what we have to understand is nobody knows who the 144,000 is. There's no way to know because they haven't been chosen yet. They haven't been elected yet. Now, a lot of people are feeling like they have the calling on their life. They feel like, you know, they uh, may be a candidate for the 144,000. And that's a legitimate feeling. We all have some kind of calling on our life. It may not necessarily be to be one of the 144,000. It may be something like making YouTube videos or something like that. Um, um, but, you know, some of us do have that calling to be 144,000. So if, if we do have that calling to be 144,000, then what will end up happening to us at some point in our life is we will be separated from the beasts, the government systems, the world systems, and put out into the wilderness where we will be trained in the law, trained in the covenant. It, that covenant building period that started with Yehoshua HaMashiach 2,000 years ago, it only lasted for three and a half years. Well, the second half of that covenant building period will happen sometime in our in our present day. It could be in our recent past or it could be, you know, sometime here coming up here in the future. But uh, um, it is during this wilderness period that these people will learn how to live within the law. They'll learn how to, to, to be um, um, spiritual Israel. Now, it's a lot of people that will go into that process, you can imagine, um, but only 144,000 actually emerge um, in only 144,000 will actually come out on the other side. Um, but, you know, going in, there will be a lot more candidates. There will be a lot of people that will will go into into the process. So back to his question about, you know, will, will some of these guys be deceived? Yeah, not necessarily 144,000. Remember, they will they will be elected at some point in the future. But the candidates, those that are that have that calling on their life and are working to answer that call, yes, yeah, some of those guys will be deceived. They, some of those guys will be tricked. And, you know, now what is that trick? What would they be deceived by? 
Well, for that, we have to talk a little bit about the great awakening that humanity is facing these days. This uh, great awakening is threatening to take place here sometime soon. If you read uh, the book of Daniel, where it talks about the 1,260 days, 1,290 days, and the 1,335 days, if you look at, if you look really closely at what his scripture was saying, and how that count started. Uh, Back there in about six, um, 606 BC and you start to add up those days or start to add up those years, you end up with about 2020. So we could see something as far as the great awakening, the spiritual conversion or the building of the third temple on the hearts of humanity in the year 2020. Now, there's a lot that's going to take place during that time. We give a lot of classes on our channel related to the third temple. Most of the time, we're able to show you the scripture coming out of these books that you know I, I have here in my collection that I'm showing you on the screen. Um, but using a cell phone, I really can't do that. I don't know how to do that yet, but maybe we will one day. But we use um, these these scriptural documents in order to show you, you know, many other things that are going to take place during that great awakening. Well, one of the things that's going to take place uh, during that great awakening is that people will gain a lot of spiritual powers, spiritual powers. In other words, they will be able to use their minds more effectively, not just, you know, for thinking about small solutions to our problems every day. No, these people are going to be able to control the elements. They're going to be able to, to heal the sick. They're going to be able to, you know, do a lot of, 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 of special things. We uh, read from this book right here. Um, it's probably the most popular video on our channel from the apocalypse, the apocalypse of Elijah. And he talks about the end time scenario and some of the things that's going to take place. And he talks about the lawless one. And this uh, individual, a lot of people call him the Antichrist. Um, 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 but he is a, a deceiver that will come after the great awakening, after we receive this, this, um, this power that most of humanity will get. The, this deceiver is going to take advantage of this power in a unique way, and that is to deceive humanity. He's going to be able to do, uh, uh, according to what we learn in this book right here, he's going to have the ability to do the the majority of the stuff that the Messiah was able to do, heal the sick, um, um, give blind people their sight back, people that can't hear, he'll be able to um, give them their hearing back. Um, he's going to be able to, you know, I'm not sure if he said he's going to be able to walk on water, but he's going to have just about every power that the Messiah had, except being able to raise the dead. That's going to be the only way that people will know that he is not the Messiah is that he will not be able to raise a dead body back to life. But who knows that unless you read this book, the apocalypse of Elijah and some of these other books that talk about, you know, that great awakening. Nobody's really going to know that this is that that is the only way to tell. And so when they see this individual being able to bring down fire from heaven, it talks about how he's going to be able to command the sun to do stuff and the sun will answer him. 